Hey, hey up Chate, Chate gang. gang, here we are back in our second home, Blackpool. And today we're staying at the Pride Lodge. And we want to show you around because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we, we are, are the Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get showing you. Welcome to room number four. Do come in. Now we have had a couple of nights here, haven't we, Tim? Yes, we've not just arrived. So there's our stuff inside, but as you can see, it's a very spacious room. Now we have got, oh, we've got a king size bed. No, oh, super king. It super is. king size bed. Yeah. And then here we've got a large enough mirror. Yeah. I'd say this is a 32 inch TV. As you can see, we do have drawers, which is a bonus. You don't always get it. Got a silent fridge here and iron and ironing board. Oh, perfect. Could have done the laundry while I was here. So this is our breakfast table. If we choose to have breakfast in the hotel, comes with a box of biscuits for midnight snacks. They're topped up. And there is Coffees and hot chocolates, once again topped up. Lovely clean cups. The kettle is spotless. We've got a big wardrobe here with another drawer here. I must say, of all the hotel rooms that we've stayed in, this is the most uh, adequate for all our clothes and stuff. So, here. The wardrobe. Now, you know how we we'll like to count coat hangers. Get ready for this. You've got a coat hanger for trousers, but then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Which is the normal for two guests, six each. But then we've also got thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 20 coat hangers in total. And wow. what does that little sign say on the inside of the door, Colin? More available on request. <laughs> How about that then? Amazing. Amazing. And would you like to talk us through the artwork, Colin? Well, just finally, just to let you know that there is a safe as well for your safekeeping. Uh, the artwork. very abstract. Uh, do I like it? It matches the decor. <laughs> and that's the best you're going to say about yeah. it, is it? Uh, then there's another one behind you, Tim. That's, I don't, I did like this one. It's various colours of uh, seaside up, so it keeps with the seaside theme. I like that one. Very good. And this is a bathroom. Do come in. So you see, it's small, but uh, it's big enough. Uh, you get included uh, toiletries, you've got a sewing kit and shoe wiping thing, tissues, hand soap. Um, they change the towels all the time here. We, we're quite happy uh, to dry them, but uh, Kevin comes in and he changes the towel for us. Um, and uh, you need to come in for me to show you the shower. There you go, shower's here. A spotlessly clean uh, shower. Yeah, it gets thoroughly cleaned every day, the room. You can't fault it on cleanliness at mm. all. And also, what I like about this is you've got a carry holder there to put your stuff in. Uh, but there's also room to put the stuff on the, the hanger there. So there's plenty of space in the shower. I'd say there's adequate room for two and a half in there. Actually, that's another good point because you can see we've got plenty of space to put all our toiletries, yeah. toothpaste and stuff. Um, Colin's not put the top on the toothpaste no. again. Well, I'm you on know. holiday. <laughs> and also, yeah. So what's your excuse when we're at home? <laughs> I would also like to point out as well that the uh, tissue is 
very good quality toilet to show. It is. And also, what is very handy as well is there is a heated tower rail in that posh. I don't think the outside of this hotel does it justice for the actual uh, quality and um, cleanliness of the hotel inside. Uh, however, what I was most impressed with was the view from the upstairs window. It never looks as good. It never looks good on the outside as what it does from up here. I love this view. And now, Colin, time for the all-important Super King bed test. Oh, I don't get spend time. I don't get to spend much time on Super King uh, beds, but I wish I did because all the room we've got here. Oh. Oh, it's very, uh, it's not bouncy, 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 but there's plenty of movement on it. <laughs> we and can see that. We've had two nights on this bed and it is really comfortable. And what are your thoughts on uh, breakfast? Uh, I, th I thought it was all right. Um, all the ingredients were fine. Um, but the thing is, you have to have it in your room. We've only got a tiny little table uh, to eat it at. And of course, poor Kevin had to uh, bring it up two flights of stairs. So it wasn't piping hot when we received it. Um, the eggs were a bit underdone. Uh, poached eggs they were. They look very nice, but uh, when you dipped into them, uh, they're a bit underdone, uh, if not snotty. Um, beans came in a pot, which I did like, and uh, it was a bit tight with the marmalade. We only got enough for one slice of uh, toast, and we did have four between us. So I I'd say it was all right, but uh, we'll probably be eating out in future. Colin, what did you think of your breakfast? It was as it was going to be for me. Um... You have to pre-order in advance with a little manual slip with all the choices that you want. Um, and I have got to agree with uh, Tim, mine could have been we've done uh, cooked a lot better. I do like my bacon crispy. The beans were nice, I've got to say that. Um, but everything else, it were, it were okay. Well, actually, you reminded me because uh, I didn't get what I ordered, did I? I, I didn't order tomatoes uh, and it came with tomatoes. I must have ordered tomatoes on mine. No, I put your order in. I know neither of us like grilled tomatoes and I, I crossed it out on both the requests. So right, okay. Didn't quite get it right. See, that's what our little uh, dining area. So, chat gang, this is the most popular part of the room review. It's Colin's shower review. So here we are in our steamy bathroom. And here's Colin. It's a perfect shower. First of all, the temperature is just perfect. You don't have to mess about with buttons, you just press one button down to turn it on, one button, the same button up to turn it off. The shell sweep, uh, there's a shelf where you can put your stuff on so there's no bending down and it's absolutely perfect. I'm, I'm loving this shower. You're enjoying your jacuzzi experience, Tim. I am, it's lovely. So here is sunbed, workout station, and ta da! Sauna. What do you think of that, Chatter Gang? That's the Pride Lodge for you, Chatter Gang. Colin, what are your final thoughts? I had the most perfect stay you could dream of. I'm so relaxed, unbelievable. Everything about that room screams comfort, the facilities that they offer, the horse, 
absolutely brilliant. What are your thoughts, Tim? Yeah, pretty much the same. Uh, the host, Keith and Tony, just sort of everything. Um, you couldn't want for anything. It was it was ideal. I, we've never stayed anywhere better, no, have we? No, no. No. So we really enjoyed this, and they've got the extra facilities. They've got a sauna, and uh, they've got um, what do they Goals call it? it? A workout station. Yeah, gym. Um, yeah. Uh, a sunbed. Uh, that is extra, but there is a sunbed there. A massage table. Uh, the, everything you could possibly want for a relaxing weekend in Blackpool. You'll find it at Pride Lodge. The standard price is £90 per room. Now, in Blackpool, we normally pay between £80 and £85 per night. However, they do do a special offer uh, where you get three nights for the price of four, which brings the average price down to £67.50 per night. That doesn't include breakfast, which is about £8. So if you add that on, you get... Um, £75.50 uh, so that's still quite a bit lower than the average price and you get loads of extras as we've already said. Yes you do. Now uh, everyone is welcome but they do specially cater for gay and bisexual males. That's something to bear in mind. It is. However would you stay again Tim? Oh no question, absolutely would. Oh yeah, we're looking at next day, it's one we've got available to come back up. Because like I said, normally I don't sleep very well after a few bevies, but in that bed you couldn't, and after the relaxation of the sauna and jacuzzi, you can't help but sleep, it's an absolute, so relaxing. I didn't think he was going to wake up this morning. <laughs> if you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up, and also drop us a comment, because it really does help the channel. And if you are new to us, and don't want to miss out of any of our future videos, then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not. Thanks for watching Chatter Gang. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.